Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. On May 31, 2023, the Zoom election campaign of the National Assembly of Western Armenia will take place. Sons of Western Armenia, Menuah Hovannisyan, Armenians and the Armenian, Aliyev Opolis regions to carry out ethnic cleansing statement of the RA MFA. We must save Artsakh on Sunday, June 4, at 3.13, a demonstration will take place in the Paris Trocadero. French Elite Weightlifting Championship 2023. Maybe the Azerbaijani stole these belts from the museums of Artsakh, Hamlet of Sepian. The Election Commission of the National Assembly of Western Armenia invites you to participate in the 30th Zoom session in Spanish for the 2023 National Assembly campaign. The topic of the meeting is the conditions of recognition of the state of Western Armenia. The meeting at Zoom will be held on May 31, 2023 at 8 p.m. French time, 10 p.m. Yerevan time. Join the Zoom conference. Artsakh hero Menuah Hovannisyan was born on December 22, 1985. Menuah was very fond of astronomy and geography at school in Armenia, as well as subjects related to history. After graduating from high school, he planned to enter the Department of Television Directing, but after changing his mind, he moved to Russia to study. He planned to get a law degree, but two years later he returned to his home country and took the position of coordinator director of the TV project High Aspect. In part Parallel with his work, Menuah Hovannisyan graduated from the Department of Public Administration of the Faculty of International Relations of Yerevan State University by correspondence. In April 2016, he enlisted as a volunteer and went to defend his homeland in Artsakh to participate in the four-day war unleashed by the authorities of Baku. After serving in Artsakh for about a month, he returned to Yerevan with a firm decision to become a scout. Following the dream, on December 16, 2013, Menuah marries Tamara Kostandian. Children are born Sardur and Arina. On September 28, 2020, as part of Kerry's detachment, he goes to Artsakh as a commander of the 3rd Platoon. His wife Tamara Kostandian asks her husband about departure. Is it possible that you will not go? To which Menua answers, it is impossible, we must go. On October 2nd, together with the men of the platoon, Menua carried out a safe retreat of the Madaris military unit during which, with his direct participation over eight conscripts were withdrawn from the forest. On October 3, after one-hour discussions with Artsakh president, he undertook the responsibility for the attack on the Aregasar mountain. On October 5, after encountering about 180 men in the enemy's rear, they killed about 150 men. 33 years old Menua was killed during the battle. Selflessly dedicated to its homeland, Menua died for the love of his country, with the knowledge that there was no right to retreat. How to recognize the Armenian Khachkar? Why do Armenians love the pomegranate? And who can read the Khazer? A number of symbols symbolizing Armenians, which we will try to reveal in a new column of Western Armenia TV. The first symbols of the Armenian series that we will talk about are the Wheel of Eternity. At the six pointed start, which are the most ancient significant symbols of the national identity of the Armenian people, Arevakanj is one of the most popular symbols of Armenian and its historical territories. The sign of eternity is often found in center of the Armenian six-pointed star. Many people identify the famous Armenian six-pointed star with the Jewish star of David because it is considered a symbol of Jewish identity and religion. However, the six-pointed star has a much longer history. Since ancient times, the Armenian people have used it throughout their history in ancient Armenian engravings. The walls, domes, hachkars of medieval churches and chapels are decorated with six-pointed star ornaments. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia draws the attention of the international community to the latest Bellico statements voiced by the Baku authorities on May 28. Contrary to the UN Charter, the written commitment made in the trilateral statement of October 31, 2022 in Sochi to refrain from the threat or use of force, similar railway commitments repeatedly made in other fora, as well as negotiations on the normalization of bilateral relations, the Baku authorities again threatened the Republic of Armenia with 
with the use of force and the people of Arta with ethnic cleansing. This is evidenced by the fact that by controlling the road of Berdur, the Baku authorities have broken the connection between Artsakh and Armenia. Moreover, in the same context, it openly threatens to carry out ethnic cleansing unless Artsakh Armenians learn lessons from blocking the Berdur corridor. Unfortunately, as is evident from the aggressive rhetoric and actions of the leadership of Azerbaijan, this state sees the solution of problems not through the recognition of the territorial integrity of the Republic of Armenia, stipulated in the Alma Alta Declaration, and the resolution of the rights and security of the population of Artsakh, but through the threat and use of military force. In order to avoid such a development, all the partners interested in a peace and stability in the South Caucasus should give indisputable assessments. More than a hundred years after 1915 genocide with impunity, the military aggression of pan turkeys should not end with a new victory of force over law. Taking advantage of the fact that the international community's attention is focused on the war in Ukraine, Aliyev's dictatorial regime is increasing pressure to acquire Artsakh, one of the last remaining pieces of the Armenian territory that still exists, in order to carry out a program of annihilation of the Armenian people. The French Armenians who survived 1915 rebel against the passive complicity of the international diplomacy in the new crime being committed before their eyes, calling on the Elysee Palace, Matignon and the Quad d'Orsay to oppose the occupation of Artsakh, any violation of its right to self-determination, control of the Aliyev dictatorial regime, attacks on the Armenian population. Artsakh is in danger. Armenia is in danger. Let's stay here. Let's come together. Coordination Council of Armenian Organizations of France. This Saturday, May 27, 2023, the elite French weightlifting championship took place in Velan Velin, Rhône Alpes, France. Andranik Abrahamian from Clermont Stadium competed for the first time in the senior category, specifically in the 67 kg weight class. The athlete successfully completed his first snatch at 106 kg, but unfortunately he failed to lift 111 kg on his next two attempts. In the clean and jerk, Andranik Abrahamian lifted 125 kg securing a medal. However, his final attempt at 135 kg, which would have earned him the gold medal, was unsuccessful. In the end, thanks to his impressive performance, Andranik Abrahamian won the silver medal in only his second year of practicing weightlifting. Unique samples of Armenian applied art collector Hamlet Hovsepian writes on his Facebook page, One of the Turkish antique dealers I know has sent me photos of six belts of Sunik Artsakh culture. The belts were purchased from a Baku antique dealer. There are Armenian sales on three of the belts. Well aware that one of time there were a large number of Armenians living in Baku, it is not surprising to find works of Armenian culture there. But the first thing that came to my mind was, maybe the belts were looted from museums after the the last Artsakh war, do we have a list of museums collections that ended up with the enemy? Perhaps some seat will display photos and information about the things that have fallen into their hands. At the very least, in the event that they turn up at auction, they could be returned. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Yeah, no, no.